Today in History 6th of April 1930, peaceful and sunny, coastal town of Dandi, Gujarat, India. Dear Diary, today is a really exciting day. Something amazing happened, it's called the Salt March, but some people also call it the Dandi March. Let me tell you all about it. You see, our country, India, is under the control of the British, and they made some unfair rules. They said only they could make and sell salt. Can you believe that? Salt is something we all use every day. We had to pay a lot of money just to buy salt from the British, and that's not fair at all. But now, Mahatma Gandhi, who is like a hero to us, had a great idea. He decided to march all the way to the coast to protest against this unfair rule. And guess what? I got to join the march too. We walked for so many days, starting from our town of Ahmedabad, and went to a place called Dandi. It's a coastal town where many fishermen live. When we reached there, Gandhi did something really brave. He picked up a small lump of mud and salt, and he declared, with this, I am shaking the foundations of the British Empire. I saw him do it with my own eyes. What makes this event so special is that we are peacefully showing the British that we won't accept their unfair rules anymore. We want to be free. Many people are joining this protest and making their own salt instead of buying it from the British. My friend Ravi told me how his grandparents struggled to afford salt and how this march gives them hope. He said, maybe one day we'll have our own country where we make our own rules. I think he's right. This event shows the world that we can fight for what's right without using violence. I'm so proud to be part of this historic event. It's not just about salt. It's about our freedom and standing up against unfairness. I believe that someday our country will be free from British rule. And when we look back on this march, we'll know how important it was in making that happen. This day will always hold a special place in my heart. Walking alongside Gandhi and so many others, feeling the hope and determination in the air, it's a memory I'll cherish forever. I can't wait to see what the future holds for our country.